Good morning. We just finished up doing a little cardio in my sauna, in my cardio and sauna room. Medical saunas, infrared saunas, good job. Still got the kids' toys and shit everywhere. Classic Seth Ferrosi move, even though. Don't compete. There used to be all the old pictures of shit everywhere. Well, kids are a big part of my life and shit will always be everywhere. Given the fact that SJ's down here a lot with me either in the mornings or the evenings. Big soccer net he kicks around everywhere and all his trucks and shit. But, so, we just finished. 30 and 15 this morning. Um, so I've been wanting to make this video uh, for the past few days and finally got to it. I am, uh, I'm light. I'm thin. I had my elk hunt, which was awesome. It was fucking tremendous. I had a blast. It was probably one of the coolest trips I've ever taken in my life. Um... But I'm light. It's thick boy season. I'm big on like seasonal eating, seasonal training. Like in the summertime, I like to be light and fit and eating fruit and all the fun stuff. And then once fucking fall hits here in Western PA, it's like thick boy season. Give me chili. I want burgers. I want ribs. I want to fucking lift heavy weights and get big. It's just something in my head. Call me a basic white bitch. Call me whatever you want. I enjoy it. Um, but I have not like trained consistently lifting weights for quite some time. I've done some sessions, um, but nothing like consistent four to five days a week of weight training in, bro, it's been months. I've been training for the elk hunt. I'm in tremendous cardiovascular shape. We hiked fucking 10 to 12 miles a day on the uh, elk hunt. Um, I can run five, six miles comfortably with a five mile an hour pace and just go. Uh, it's pretty cool. I enjoyed that. But as I was hiking with the fucking elk on my back, it was a successful hunt. Um, we had about four and a half plus miles out of the uh, mountains and had it on my back. And you got some time to think, motherfucker, because you got to get your mind off of the fact that you got 150 pounds plus on your back and you're like, this sucks. Uh, it sucked, but I loved it. And that's kind of where this is getting to. Uh, so as I was hiking out, I was like, Thinking about how beautiful it was, the scenery, um, killing an animal, uh, harvesting it myself, bringing it home for the family to eat. There's something about it that I really like. And being out in the middle of Idaho, um, watching the sun set across the mountains, watching the sun rise across the mountains. Um, zero cell phone service for the majority of the time for me. And it, it just got me thinking of how absolutely beautiful life is. And it's hard not to recognize that when you're out there. I know it sounds like cliche, but unless you've done it, man, it's, it's really hard to comprehend because just watching it all and being out there, it was absolutely incredible. And it got me thinking about the things that I really, really love in life. And I've always had the motto, you don't got problems, just more work to do and appreciate life because it doesn't last forever. Uh, however, uh, it, being out there helped me kind of appreciate the things that I absolutely love in life. And what do I love in life? I love my family. Uh, I love lifting weights. I love what I'm doing right now, rucking this animal out of the, of the mountains for bring home to the family. I love my people. And I love the influence that I've had on this community in a positive manner. I'm intense. I'm, I'm a unique individual. I'm a little fucking wild. And uh, I was like, I love lifting weights and I like hunting, but not many people are like big bulky weightlifters and hiking mountains because the two generally don't go together. However, there's a lot of hybrid athletes out there that do their fucking, I ran, you know, half marathon and bench 315 today. And I'm like, well, I was like, there's no reason that, you know, I can't do it. There's no reason that I can't fucking lift weights, eat steaks, enjoy the fucking holiday seasons, eating thick boy food, and then also putting 50 pounds on my back and just rucking for five, 10 miles. Why, why wouldn't you? That's cool. You can do a functional workout a week. You don't need to go full functional all the time. You're in shape. Your health's great. Why not just lift weights, eat steaks, and ruck miles? I was like, fuck yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop beating myself up in my head about, oh, you got to do this and that. Bitch, I ain't dead yet. I ain't dead yet. 
I'd rather I'd rather do what I love now than live in fear of of absolutely anything in life. Can't do it that way. I don't want to be a walking dead man. I already know what that feels like because being fucking uh being in bad spots throughout your life is not fun. And like I was saying, I love the 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 influence that I've had on this community in the sense of <clears throat> just telling things how it is. Not fucking, you don't always have to follow the trend and the norm of everything to fit the fuck in. Just because you have a different idea about something doesn't mean it's a bad idea. Just because, you know, all of these people are doing this and this is the hot topic right now and everybody's doing it. And if you don't do it, you're a fucking douchebag. Like, no. No. Do what you love to do. And the reason that I wanted to make videos like this and, and get back to some of the roots that I've had about lifting weights and educating uh, not just young people, but anybody that's early weightlifting, trying to make a change in their life, basic level uh, knowledge about training into intermediate and advanced and highly advanced. I've been, I went on an archery elk hunt and there's not many like beginner level videos, recent beginner level videos about much of anything with archery hunting. Now I can shoot a bow, but I can't tune it myself. So I started learning. I had to go to somebody to learn how to do it. There's not many like entry level fucking videos. And it got me thinking, there's not many entry level videos about training. There's, there's videos out there, but they're not like coming across in a manner for in layman's terms, for you not to feel like a fucking inferior douchebag to somebody that's talking down to you about things. And from a meathead standpoint, you don't have to be a scientist to lift weights, eat good food, take supplements. It's not a fucking, it's not a high level science course. It's basic. It's very simple, basic knowledge. And the fact that I was having a hard time finding that type of information for archery hunting, um, I was like, there's probably very few of like quality knowledgeable people in the bodybuilding industry. And I'm like, why the fuck would I not do it? Why wouldn't I do it? And I'm like, okay, that's what I want to do because that's what built my platform was being open, honest, and putting out layman's terms information for you all to become better. Because you don't have to be a scientist to be a bodybuilder. Some of the best bodybuilders in the world were not the most intelligent individuals. They just figured out what worked for them and worked the ever-loving shit out of it. And I'm not a scientist, and I've done pretty well. I've done a lot of dumb shit in my life because that's the way I learn. But um, I figured, why not put out basic training and basic nutritional information for you to be able to build your knowledge off of? So that's what we're going to do. And this is all to help curve your learning curve, curb your learning curve, so that uh, you don't make some of the same mistakes I did. And that's part of being young and dumb and getting old and wise. But where I stand right now, that's one of the things I was going to fill you in. I'm a fucking hairy mess, but super lean. Yesterday morning, I was 204.6. Light. But I'm super lean, in really good shape. Fucking stupid werewolf hairy. I get a haircut today. But um, super lean. I just don't feel strong or like fucking... Ah, and it's because I haven't been lifting weights nor been eating enough food to have those feelings. And you can see, like, I don't have the same density in the lats. Like, it's, it's not there. Super lean. Yeah, very hairy, but I mean, lean in the biceps, you can see the fibers, stupid lean, stupid lean, which is all great and good, but it's thick boy season. <laughs> 
It's time to eat. Right now, I was like, fuck, I want to do it, so why not, while I'm doing this, why not just document it and share it with you guys for you guys to be able to learn from some of the things that I'm going to be doing and also have fun. In my head, what's tough about being lean and then getting thicker is the fact that there is a level of satisfaction about being lean. Like, yeah, look at my obliques. Fuck yeah, striations. I'm fucking, ah. And then you lose them and you're like, oh my God, what's going to happen? It goes back and forth in our heads. However, it's kind of like, that's how this works. You can't have both all the time. You just can't, at least for my genetics. Um, my extremities are relatively lean. My legs are lean. My fucking arms are lean even whenever I'm a little thicker, but my abdomen is one of the places that isn't so lean whenever I'm getting a little thicker. And that's okay. That's just kind of how this all goes. But like I said, for me, it was like I wanted to um, wanted to take you guys on this, I guess you could say on this journey of thick boy season. Travel bag, work bag, little different lighting. Still really lean in the legs, very lean. And I mean, I've been doing a fuckload of cardio and eating like a 50% vegan. What do you expect? Somehow I have body fat on my back and abs. <laughs> Not much, but then my butt cheeks. I'm glute dominant on hiking, walking, stepper, running, glute dominant. No shit, huh? I mean, it amazes me. Good times. But like, I just want to be stronger. And I ain't dead yet. I'm getting older. I'll be 39 here soon. Not dead yet. So, the goal is to uh, lift the weights and eat the steaks again. Get back to what I love the most about doing what I do. I just love lifting weights. I've done the functional training and I've enjoyed it, but I want to, I like the back, the back country archery hunting. I love it. You got to be in fucking shape for it, but you can't be a pussy. You also need to make sure you're strong. And I'm like, I like being strong. I like eating food. I like being big. I love doing the rucking and staying in good cardiovascular shape. So you fucking retard, why not do them both? So I'm going to do both. That is my goal. And we're going to shave off the fucking shit. Get the werewolf hair out of here. I mean, fuck, I haven't gotten a haircut in like a month. I traveled from, fuck, I traveled like three times in the past four weeks. So this, it's got to get cleaned up. I want to shave it all off, pull like a fucking Britney Spears and shave the head, shave the beard, be bald. And you imagine that? I'd look like a fucking weirdo. Leave the goatee. Walter White, that bitch. I like being lean. Makes me happy inside my head. However, I haven't trained back. Like did a training session on back, like over the top bro split months. I just do a fuckload of pull-ups. Lots of rows. And it works. It's fucking obvious. But I'm not strong enough in my head. So I'm excited to see what happens. Now, you're probably all sitting there and be like, Zeth, you fucking asshole, you look great. I know I do. I work really fucking hard. That's how this works. However, I have high standards for myself and I really want to be stronger. So along that, the biggest thing for me is going to be making sure I stay in good cardiovascular shape and keep an eye on not getting over a certain mark with the weight and keeping an eye on my blood pressure, keeping an eye on my resting heart rate. All those things are going to come into play. And it really shouldn't be an issue because I don't eat a lot of shit food. I'm just going to be eating more and I'm still going to do a fuckload of cardio. But I'm going to lift weights again. And I'm not going to do steady state cardio. I'm going to do intense over the top cardio because I like it. 2.06, my soaking wet shorts on. I'll take the shorts off real quick so you can see. 
not my deck, but the weight, the difference in weight. 204.2. Son of a bitch. It's pretty light. And I don't have any pants on right now. But that doesn't mean we can't have a comfortable conversation with one another. Just be like two dudes hanging out in the shower, staring at each other, not looking at their dicks. <laughs> oh, fuck. I love it. But the number one takeaway from all of this is do what you like to do from a decent, healthy standpoint. And even if it's not too healthy, fuck it. It's your life. I really love lifting weights. So I'm going to do it. I'm not going to get too tied up because uh, for too long, one of the reasons that I got so into the functional training was because of the fucking bad health report from almost four years ago now. Well, motherfucker, everything's A-OK. -okay. Uh, I've changed my lifestyle and it's good, but I absolutely love lifting weights. And this time of year, like I want to be big and strong. I miss it. So we're going to lift the weights and we're going to ruck for fucking miles. We're going to shoot bow. We're going to kill deer, kill elk, shoot a moose in 2024, Alaska, be a fucking adventure. You're not allowed to be a pussy amongst all these things. And yes, I removed those. <laughs> but everybody have a splendid fucking day. Keep being you. Be a good motherfucker. And slap the old woman on the ass and let her know you love her.